What's up, everybody? This is Dayton from Resonate Recordings. I'm lead mixing engineer here, and today we're going to talk about some recording techniques and mic placement techniques for podcasting. So I spend about nine hours a day with headphones on, listening, editing, mixing, producing podcasts, and I hear a lot of common mistakes that can be easily corrected. So this video is going to attempt to give you some tips and pointers on recording your podcast. So let's dive in. Step number one is picking a good location. Now you want to pick a location that's quiet and free from distraction. So we recommend locations that are away from busy roads or that have a lot of foot traffic. So try to avoid busy office buildings or anything like that. We recommend locations that don't have a lot of reflective surfaces where sound can bounce around, such as wood floors or concrete floors. So stick to locations that have carpet, in an ideal scenario, a closet or a basement are great places to record. And remember to turn off anything that can make noise, such as your cell phone or the air conditioning. So turn off your air conditioning before you record. This is what it sounds like with the air conditioning on. This is what it sounds like with the air conditioning off. Second, let's talk about microphone accessories. Now, I like to call these microphone necessities because I just can't record without them. So let's start off by talking about your mic stand. Now, a lot of microphones will come with a desk stand where the mic actually sits on the stand and that sits on a desk. We actually recommend to avoid that because every time you bump your desk, you're gonna be making noise. We recommend you use a floor stand that doesn't touch anything because your microphone's really sensitive and will pick up any vibration. Next is the pop screen filter. Now these basically just minimize the amount of air being pushed into the diaphragm of the microphone. Peter Pan picked plenty of pretty pancakes. Peter Pan picked plenty of pretty pancakes. The next thing to be mindful of when you record your podcast is to watch your movement. So be mindful of what you're wearing, like jewelry, like big leather jackets with zippers, bumping the table, typing on your keyboard, bumping the mic stand, scratching your beard, clicking on a mouse, sitting in a squeaky chair, shuffling paper, All of these things should be avoided at all costs. And lastly, always make sure you record with headphones on. Now, recording without headphones is like shooting a video without looking at the screen. You'd have to know what you're recording. What we've all been waiting for, the microphone. How far do you stand away from it? Where do you talk into it? Well, it's really important to keep in mind that there are so many different types of microphones. Today I'm going to be demonstrating on an Audio-Technica AT2005 mic. This is a dynamic cardioid microphone, and cardioid being the pickup pattern. It picks up everything in front of the speaker. So the pickup pattern looks like a heart shape, so it's picking up everything in front. We recommend this type of microphone for most podcasts because it minimizes the amount of room noise in the recording, and it focuses directly on the speaker. Keep in mind, there are two common microphone designs. You have front address, and side address. I'm talking into a microphone that has a front address design, meaning the diaphragm of the microphone is perpendicular to the body. A side address microphone, like this one, the diaphragm of the microphone is actually parallel to the body, so you talk into it from here. Another common example of a side address microphone is the Blue Yeti. So if you have a Blue Yeti, you do not talk into it like this. It's a side address. Now let's talk about how far away you should be from your microphone. As a general rule of thumb, I think two to four inches is a really comfortable distance to be. So what I do is I take my fist, I put it in a ball, I put it up to my mouth, and I put that up to the microphone, and that's a good starting point. Now it's really important to use a pop screen filter. Once you find the distance that sounds good to you, you put the pop screen filter where that should be, and that'll keep you from getting too close to the microphone. Now, some people have a really deep voice, so if you get in really close, you get a really, really full sound, and 
that can be okay for some people. But for me, I find it doesn't sound natural. So I like to get back a little bit. Now you can play with this depending on your voice. If you get too far back, the sound starts to get really thin and then you can barely hear me. And now you're hearing most of the room. So as I get in and close to the microphone, I come into focus. Every mic has a sweet spot. So you got to come in and find that spot that sounds best to you. Now, if you're finding that your voice has a lot of sibilance or you're still getting pee popping sounds, even with using a pop screen filter, you can tilt the mic a little bit off axis to help avoid this. Keep in mind, everybody's voice is different. So experimentation is key. Move around, move in and out. Try to find that sweet spot that sounds best to you. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have more questions or want more information, you can go to resonaterecordings.com. Happy podcasting.